So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial, but first I will be doing my whole entire face because I did ask quite a few of you on the makeup social what kind of tutorials you guys like. Um, and a lot of you said that you like to see the whole entire face done, so I will be doing my whole entire face, but it will be in fast forward mode. But all of the products that I did use or will be using will be linked in the description bar below. And um, yeah, so if you want to see this tutorial, then just keep watching. to the eyes. So first thing that I want to show you guys is the palette that I'm going to be using. Now keep this in mind, I bought this when I think I was about 13 or 14 so I had no idea what MAC was so obviously this is a fake but it is just one of these massive palettes that I bought off eBay. Um, honestly you can use those BH Cosmetics palettes, it's just one of those palettes where it has a billion different colours, um, it's got two layers, I will be using this top layer but um, just in case you ever do buy it, it does come with two different layers with a bazillion different colors. So I'm going to be using the first layer. Um, and the first thing that we want to do is prime our eyes with a white base. Now, a lot of people will probably have this, so I have chosen this today. This is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. Um, mine is literally right in there, so I need to get a brush and actually stick the end in there to get some product out. Um, so I'm just going to pop that onto my eyelid and I'll blend it out with a Sigma concealer brush but right now I just want to put this right onto the eyelid and I'll just blend it slightly into the crease and onto the bottom lash line as well. Thank you. 
first shade that we're going to be using on the top row is this kind of in the middle shade if you can see um it's this color right here it's a really nice kind of violet purple shade and i'm just going to be taking that on a sigma e55 just any kind of shading brush will do i'm just going to dip my brush in there i find for this palette it's actually a pretty pigmented um palette considering that it was only like ten dollars i think it was but um yeah you can use any kind of palette that has any of these kind of colors so what i'm going to do is basically tug on my eye a little bit and just place it on the um kind of inner third of my eye. So I'm going to stop it right where the blue part of my eye starts and I'm just going to kind of swipe this on and I'm going to leave the inner tear duct um, totally clear and not taking this past the crease either. Okay and with that same colour and that same brush I'm just going to put this um, on the outer part of my um, eye as well. I'm going to be leaving basically wear the whole entire color of my eye um, totally free because I want another color to go on there so I'm just going to be putting this on where this part of my eye starts and outwards. So I'm just going to be patting that on there and again not taking that past the crease. You just kind of want to stamp it in your socket line like just kind of dab it in there. And for the second colour that we're going to be using is the colour right next to that one. So it's this colour right here and this is just a really nice peach colour. And I'm just going to be kind of wiping off the excess on the back of my hand and just taking the same brush just for convenience so I don't have to watch, um, wash a billion brushes. But I'm going to be taking that same brush and that colour and I'm just going to be kind of putting that right in the middle and again not past the crease. Um, and whilst I'm putting that colour on there I'm just going to kind of blend it in with the purple so there's no um, edges or anything. I just want it to be a really nice kind of gradient effect throughout the whole entire colours. So just pop that in the middle. Stamp it in the actual socket line and blend out the edges. And I'm going to be doing that same thing on the bottom lash line as well. So just put the purple where it mirrors from the top. So just put the purple on the outsides and then put the pretty peach colour in the very, very middle. Really, really nice. And again, just kind of blend so there's no harsh edges or anything like that. So for the crease colour, I'm going to be taking a blending brush. This one is a E35 by Sigma. And I'm just going to be taking any kind of light brown colour. So just underneath that, there is this brown colour. And I'm going to be taking a little bit of this one. Um, just mixing the two. And this is going to create a really nice crease colour. And it's going to kind of help blend these colours. So I'm just going to... Blend that into the crease. I'm not putting too much because I don't want anything to distract um, under or disturb the colours of my eyes. So just pop that in the crease. And we're leaving the inner corner totally free. And I'm going to be putting a white over that. So any kind of white shadow that you've got, I'm just going to be using this one because it is the frostier colour. And I'm just going to take that on a pencil brush. And this one is a... E30 by Sigma. I'm just going to dab that over the NYX Jumbo Pencil and blending it into the purple. And I'm also going to take a little bit on the very highest point of my brow bone and blending it out with my finger. Okay, so on to eyeliner. I'm going to be using a liquid liner by Savvy by DB. This one's actually a blue colour. Um, I don't really like the black colour by Savvy, but my favourite at the moment is this dark navy blue colour, and this is a great liquid liner. So I'm just going to line my top lash line and flicking it out on the end as well. And I find this gives a really really nice precise line because the brush is kind of like a plastic tip but it's very flexible so I find it's really easy to um to create a flick and to make it very precise which is great because this eyeliner is like I don't know like four or five dollars it's really cheap 
And for mascara, actually, before I put on mascara, I'm going to be putting the glue on my lashes. And the lashes that I will be using today are these True or False Cat Lashes. These are amazing. I have done a full-on blog review on my thoughts um, on this whole entire True or False Lash brand. I will link that down below. I would highly recommend reading it before you purchase from them because it is very detailed um, on my experiences and my thoughts. So I'm just going to pop the glue on my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so my eyelash glue should be dry now. I'm going to be taking those on some tweezers and I'm going to be applying those, hopefully in frame and hopefully right on the first go. So I'm just going to place it in the middle, hold that down and dragging the sides down, tucking in the ends because I don't want those ends to be popping up. Okay, so now that these annoying lashes are finally on, this bit is totally optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm going to be popping a little bit of this silver glitter liner. This is by the brand called Bloom, and it's just a silver liner in the color Lucky Star. Um, I believe I got this in a last have a box. I'm pretty sure I did, and I've never actually used it, and I thought this would be perfect for this look. So I'm just going to be coming um, out with the little brush that it comes with, and I'm just going to apply that right underneath this outer third I guess of my eye and I'm just going to be putting that a little bit in there as well. Not touching the tear duct or anything like that. And that is all for the eyes. So that is the eyes completed. If you guys want to see what I did on my lips then just keep watching. So for lips, I thought that I would keep it fairly neutral. So I've decided that I'm going to line my lips with my favorite lip liner. This is Essence uh, 07Q Pink. This is the perfect pink in my opinion. And I'm just going to be lining my lips with it. Okay, so for lipstick, I'm going to be using the Essence Lipstick in 52 in the Nude. This is a great nude shade, very creamy, and it's just a really great shade. So just apply that straight from the tube. Just like that. And I feel like it's a little too nude for this look, so I'm going to be applying a little bit of lip gloss at the top. This is also by Essence. This is the Essence Stay With Me um, Long Lasting Lip Gloss in my favorite milkshake, which is just a really nice kind of baby pink shade. Just going to apply that with the very weird applicator that it comes with. So I'm just going to apply that straight over the top. Just like that. So that is the whole entire face complete. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll quickly zoom you guys up so you guys can see. Um, but again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, there'll be a blog post on this look down below if you guys are interested. And again, all of the products that I use will be linked down below in the description box and also on my blog post as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.